All right, so in this video, we'll go from this to this. Using one of these. That took a little over three minutes using a standard SATA drive, an IDE. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to swap it out for a solid state drive and this video. And then in the second video, there will be another video posted along with this one that will show you how to install the old IDE hard drive into where your CD-ROM drive goes or DVD drive goes. Got a little kit. I'm going to hopefully install the, uh, the old drive into it. Then I'll have two drives on my laptop. I'll use the solid state drive. This is a smaller one. It's only 240 gig to put my OS and applications on. Then all the data will be stored on the secondary drive that will be in an upcoming video. All right, so first thing we need to do, of course, is remove the old hard drive. But before you do that, you need to download the OS install program to a USB thumb drive. Okay, so I'm going to insert a USB thumb drive. It looks like the drive is blank. So now I'll look up the OS USB install files. In this case, I'm running Windows 10, so I'll be going to Microsoft. Search for download Windows 10 thumb drive. Okay, so right here on Microsoft.com, I have found the Windows 10 installation tool. To get started, you'll first need to have a license to install Windows 10. You can then download and run the media creation tool. For more information on how to see the tool, see the instructions. So I'll click on download the tool now. Now I'm select open when done. Okay, I'll accept the agreement. Okay, I want to create Installation media. Language Windows 10. Architecture. Next. USB. Okay, now it's downloading Windows 10. Okay, now it's verifying the download. Okay, now my drive's ready, so I can hopefully shut this down. Oh, there we go. So I'll go ahead and shut down the laptop. Remove the old hard remove the old hard drive. Put the new drive in, and then hopefully we can reinstall the operating system. Okay, so to get to the hard drive on this model. There's not an access door for it. There is one for the memory right here, which I've already taken off. So now, just take all these screws out. Okay, so here's the inside of this particular laptop. There's the battery, and there's the drive. 
so move the drive. Okay, so now I'll remove the drive. Okay, so now I'll take the screws out of the old drive off the caddy and put them on the new drive. Okay, so line up the drive. Just make sure get the brackets on correctly, right? Like that. The bracket goes on just like that. Okay, now mount the new drive back into the laptop. There's my old drive, and again, in the next video, I will show you how to put this drive into a caddy that will place your DVD drive, and that way we can have two drives and one laptop. Of course, you can also use a USB caddy, but uh, I like this because it'll all be self-contained. So let's flip it back over. Plug it in. So the USB boot worked fine. Uh, you may have to change your BIOS settings to get the USB to to get the computer to boot into the USB. Fortunately, I did not have to do that. Install. Okay, so I already have Windows 10 on here, so I'm just gonna put on, click on, I don't have a product key, and then I'll activate it later. Okay, here it has Windows 10 home, and Windows 10, all the other options as well. I will select Windows 10 Home. Accept the license. And hit Next. Okay, so now I need to create a drive. So I have Drive 0 unallocated. Click on New. Hit apply. And I'll select this as the default. And now it'll copy the files. Okay, so it's copied the files. Now it's getting ready for installation. Hopefully this will go pretty quick. Okay, went through the getting ready phase and then re now it's rebooting again. And some more finalization. And there we go, it's installed. Okay, so now we need to finish this install. So United States is where I'm at. US. No extra keyboard to be added. And sorry, but you can't see this part.
Okay, now we're set up. Next. All right, so I'm going to restart it. Um, it's it's pretty much done at this point. I'm going to go ahead and load all my apps that I've been using, primarily Photoshop, Adobe Premiere, that kind of stuff. And then I will show you how quickly it boots up with the new solid state drive. And then, of course, my next video will be, again, on how to put your old drive in with the new drive using your DVD port. There we go. All right, so there it is. A nice clean install with the new solid state drive. Three minutes to boot up last time. About 20 seconds. Pretty amazing. Oh, wait, still going. There we go. Now it's fully loaded, 30 seconds. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please select like down there and subscribe to my channel. If you didn't like it, well, subscribe to the channel. Maybe you like the next one. Thank you for watching.